Hello everyone, this is Super Galaxy Sam here. Welcome to the stream. Hello there, kites. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome. We're playing Identity 5 tonight. Also, apparently it's Keegan Day, so for those who play Identity 5, remember to get your Keegan rewards. Because it only happens once a year. <laughs> Also, I need to do that. Actually, wait, I should keep this one application open. Okay. But yes, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. I will probably get this stuff eventually, so I am good. Okay, I think I got all of the stuff for Keegan. Yes, I did. Now, I think um, today I'm going to... Oh, yeah, her uh, letter. And this. Rec record subject Betsy. Betsy is married to Harold Nicholas Q. I'm good. How are you? Oh, Kite Zuki Uwu. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. The color that OBS chose to put your username in also makes it a little harder to read because when it's in like bright colors, it's difficult for me to read long, complex names. So that helps a lot. Thank you so much, Kaitsuki Uwu. <laughs> God damn it, Sans. <laughs> so it looks like this is an interview And that's interesting. Um, there's no music here. Yeah, there's no music at this part. Usually, I if I remember right, there's usually usually music. Oh, so I think I need to set my funny little guy to this. Okay, there we go. Right microphone now. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like someone is uh, interviewing Keegan about uh her brother's wife sans jump scare yeah sans will sometimes just randomly make megalovania noises throughout the stream it can be very very quiet or very very loud you will not know unless you no notice so literally you can get subliminal land uh subliminal sans ju jump scare Okay, so Betsy is, like, scared of something that Keegan's brother did. And Betsy's, like, conf confronted her because she uh, knows about how laws work. Interesting. At some point, I should go back and read the other letters that I unlocked, but just kind of skimmed over last year. Okay, so got that done. Edit lobby. What is it yelling at me for? Wall hangings. Oh, it's for, um, uh, for Helen. Oh yeah, something that I am really thinking of doing this year as like a possible video series is interviewing people with similar occupations as to the uh, cast in Identity 5. Same or similar, because some of these jobs are like occupations that the characters have don't technically exist anymore like gravekeeper uh, these days is uh, more of groundskeeper and gravedigger 
So it's kind of like split into two jobs. And then, um, I don't know if he still works at the college, but, uh, if he does and he's cool with it, I would be open to seeing if, uh, my old, one of my old professors who's actually blind and uses a cane just like, uh, mine's eye does, uh, would be willing to talk about his experiences as, um, a blind, you know, a blind, someone who, uh, is a blind professor and also, like, uh, studying while blind and going through academics. And then there's, like, also a post office in the area, so... It'd be like, oh, well, I'll mm -hmm. see if maybe someone at the local post office who's a male person would be willing to talk about what it's like to be, you know, a male man or a male woman. And, um, you know, all that stuff. Like, that's something I would like to do as a series. I'm thinking about it, and I think it's something that I actually want to try this year because if there's one thing I'm comfortable with it's interviewing uh, people about their professions because I have done so many job interviews for applying to jobs and all that stuff that I've just gotten used to it <laughs> yeah I would love to do it especially since like the age demographic the general age demographic for players with an identity five is like teens and young adults so people who are already kind of like trying to figure out what they want to do as a job or like as part of the next step in their life so you know it'd be a interesting way to um i don't know why i'm still playing as keegan uh i don't play her um i i played her for the birthday event um but you know it would be an interesting way to kind of like see what people of like the modern day interpret iterations of these jobs uh, think of like the characters and all that stuff, but also talk about their experiences. Like what are some things that, you know, you do for your job? Um, this interview is, you know, this interview is about the uh, this occupation that you share with this character. Mm -hmm. And this is who the character is, you know, what do you think of this character? Um, as, as someone with the same occupation, what would you, you know, if this character was real, what, what would you tell him? <laughs> you know? And also things like, what do you do? Um, what, are, what are your shifts like? Find an interview a mercenary, make it happen. If I can, I won't lie. If I can, um, I will. <laughs> if I can, I will. I do know there's at least someone, I, I think it was BuzzFeed, who actually uh, interviewed um, a hit person or something like that, or they had like kids uh, talk to a hit person. Which was very interesting. I know I could, um... I know for Luca, I could definitely interview, um... Inmates and, uh, electricians. Or electrical engineers, because I have connections to both of those. So, like, it would mainly be occupations, but of course for some where it's not an occupation, it would be like, what is, what is it like to experience this, you know, or what's it like to have this sort of lifestyle? If I can, I will! <laughs> this type of attitude of all time, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So that is a series that I'll think of doing, and I honestly do want to do, so it will probably happen if I make mm -hmm. sure I retain my motivation for it. <laughs> Wait, fuck. That is the wrong one. F... F3. Thank you. Yeah, normally I don't play this character. <laughs> I was setting up my mic, my uh, labia mic, so it was like, okay. Uh, the timer just kind of locked in on her. I may not know how to use her abilities, but I sure as hell know how to do the basics. What I'll do is I'll sit down and write a basic script or like template of a script and if I like it then I'll start working on the series. I'll likely start with um, a gardener or a postman first. Just because they're the most accessible in this area. <laughs> the most prevalent in fact. What am I doing? Oh, right. Yeah, they're tricky. Basically, it's, oh, your cord thing. Oh, they're over there. Okay. I figured they'd get dungeon. So the black guard has the bell and the white guard has the umbrella. I mean, they both technically have the umbrella, but the white guard does more stuff with the umbrella than the black guard. The black guard's the one that's like ring, 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 banana phone. Ding dong ding dong ding dong ding. Banana phone! I got this feeling. It's pain. It's so appealing. Banana phone! But replace the phone part with bell. Leo time. Mm -hmm. Fact. Um, though I'm kind of rusty, a bit rusty these days, back when I played really, really consistently, um, I've been able to get Leo banned. <laughs> That's fair. But yeah, I've been able to actually get Leo banned. Like, people will see my, like, icon and be like, aw, oh, shit, it's you. <laughs> and literally just straight up ban my Leo in, like, mid-tier, like, manticore or so. And this was before his buff. 
Though, to be honest, his buff doesn't do too much, in my opinion. Like, the change in movement speed is nice, but, like... His, his amber, it, what they did to his amber is more of a drawback than, an, uh, than something useful. But yeah, it's basically the white guard. Uh, I think it's she have she have she she have she have she bian she bian. I I struggle pronouncing X's within the Chinese language, uh, because they don't pronounce it like a z. It's more like a sh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm in the process of a legendary Leo. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, I am a scary Leo player. Um, I can be a very terrifying Leo player. Also a pretty scary nightmare player, not gonna lie. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the thing about playing Leo a lot mm -hmm. in Nightmare is you eventually learn how to predict people's movements. And that's kind of what makes you, like... Really, really terrifying as, um... Mm -hmm. As Hunter is knowing how to just predict shit like that. Because it's like, you may not be able to use the character's mm -hmm. abilities, but as long as you know how to, like, literally do the basics, you can just get ties alone on knowing what to do. That's fair. Yeah, the thing with Nightmare is he, since he can lock on to targets, um, a lot of Nightmares end up relying on that factor. But, like, they rely on it too heavy, I've noticed. You dick! You fucking dick! I, I, I'm not even mad. <laughs> I'm laughing. You little shit! Please, please take my anger as an a comp as a compliment. I'm being serious. It's not even an anger. It's just wow. You fucking dick. But I mean that in a positive way. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. You got me there. Yeah, a lot of nightmares I've noticed um, get super trigger happy. So, though it like heavily rely on it. No. Bad. And like in some cases it works out for them. And that's kind of what makes them sometimes hard to go up against because they just get really damn annoying with their uh, trigger happiness. But like a good nightmare will be precise and know when to like do hits. Instead of just relying specifically on their lock, lock on. 
Lock Orpheus in the basement where he deserves to hate that guy a hole. He's just being a little shit. He, he is a little shit. What am I saying? Hello, Molten. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We're talking about how much... Orpheus is a fucking little shit. And how he deserves to be <laughs> locked away. <laughs> right now. Okay, I'm gonna lock him away. I'm putting him in the basement. Hello there! Oh, it is still moaning. Oh no, you little shit! Come back here! I want to lock you in the basement and shake you around. I'm, I'm joking. Oh, that's right. You have that thing. You can't run that far. Thank you. Jailed for his crimes, exactly. Unfortunately, I'm too far from basement. I almost had him in basement. <laughs> I almost had him jailed in crime for his ba jailed in uh, jailed in the basement for his crimes. There was an attempt. I just had breakfast. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Good breakfast and a hangout in the mall is slaps real hard. It's real good. So I'm glad you've been having a good time. Wasn't I doing rank? Did I just and Fact, there was a time when I was like practicing um, sculptor before all of her nerfs. Like this was basically around the time she came out. Mm -hmm. And I accidentally entered rank with her on Red Church and I fucking panicked. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, shit, 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 fuck. When I realized what was going on, I was like, midway through, wait, this isn't casual match, this is ranked. Fuck, 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 fuck! I, I ma somehow managed to, like, win. If you lose any game this stream, you have to make you know what your PFP on Discord. Oh, no! <laughs> Hello, Jesse. And yes, guys, uh, Jesse has <laughs> has told me that I must make my profile pick into something very fucking cursed. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Moten. Oh, you won't know. You won't know, Moten. Because chances are, I pro- So you better not lose. I can't guarantee that. I literally just lost as you popped into the stream. So, <laughs> there's a good chance um, the cursed profile image will be a reality. 
last time it was um, Burger King foot lettuce for New Year's till like to till like uh, New Year's Eve, and then I forgot. So the Burger King foot lettuce profile image actually stayed longer than it should have. Join the Discord to see the new PFP. <laughs> it's not there yet. <laughs> I don't know why I was like, oh, wait, but it's like, oh, wait, this is like 50 seconds long. Where the fuck you went? Okay, you went over here. <laughs> they lagged out. Talk, yeah, talk earlier about the new profile pic. It is cursed. It is very cursed. It's from Cards Against Humanity, apparently. I hate it with all my heart. And I'm someone who usually is fine with cursed images, but oh my god. I'm crying. <laughs> I swear, if you guys, like, manage to jinx it so I can end up losing, so you guys can see the new image. <laughs> Sam, you should have known what I was waiting on. God. God, I know. This Komida! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, it's a Komida Merc, but still. It's a Komida Merc, but still. And in cro Croc Deer, no less. But you know, if you know, you know. And thank you for the social media pull up. Pray on your top fall! Oh, no! God damn it, guys! Sorry, I can't be Oh no! Combiner Merc and Ranked is more likely than you think, yeah! For real, I never thought the super, like the whole superstition or stereotype about Kamida Merc was a thing until this happened. And then I'm like, oh, maybe there is some truth. Okay, I gotta change gear. I'm gonna pivot over here. Now if you lose, you can double it and we can make it your it PFP and then we can double it again to make it your TikTok PFP and we can repeat it until it's all your socials. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I mean... Well, actually, no, it is worse than the wheels on the bus to go step, step, step. What am I saying? Though the wheels on the bus go step, step, step is pretty bad, too. And I still owe you that video, Jesse. You still need to burn that image. I know. I should. I do need to burn that image. Maybe for a New Year's Eve, bit, New Year's, a belated New Year's video, given that it's appropriate. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna switch gear. I'm not getting anywhere with that. Yeah, go ahead, dismantle my puppet. I don't fucking care. 
Kamida Merck. Two years later than what I requested. Better late than never, I say. <laughs> you know, better, better, better late than never. You were hiding behind there, my dude. My dude. <laughs> what? Kamida Merck. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, well then. Is it me or is that dead or alive? Huh. Gee, I wonder who that is. Whoop. Are you gonna pop the cypher mite? No? Okay, there we go. Cypher popped. What is this? Merc, you're going the wrong way. Merc, you're going the wrong way. My dude. My dude. Okay, you go stay over there. It's such a good costume. I think, yeah, I have it for Mike. Hello there, sir. This guy is going to get real fucking lucky. Fuck. You know what? That's fine. If I can get this tie, um... That would be great. Okay, if I can just get this tie, because the tie is not a loss, that would be great. It's, no, 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 no. You are not, you are not going to dungeon. Fuck your dungeon. Fuck, fuck your stupid dungeon. No, 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 no! Guys, this is the cursed profile pick era. You guys, you guys, ready for this? Here, let me put proper music on. Just for this, just for this occasion. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, where is it? Where's my music? I didn't put it, oh, okay, yeah, it's music here. Where's the checker dance? To double it? God damn it, Jesse. <laughs> I, I think one, one, one social media is fine. <laughs> Oh gosh, where is the uh, checker checker dance? I'm. 
Here it is, guys. Here it is. Why? <laughs> Change avatar. Custom style. <laughs> Why? Why must it help? There. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. When I said it was cursed, I was not kidding. You can think, Jesse. <laughs> the Mike Martin, the Mike Martin led to my downfall. <laughs> Two months of the new. What is this fucking hullabaloo circus lore? <laughs> My cat's been forsaken us all. <laughs> I guess I am the entire circus. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Bro did not lie. That PFP sure can be cursed. Yep, it is. <laughs> It really is. I am dying, Squidward. Apparently, it sources cards against humanity. Which was new news for me. But here we are. <laughs> Just wait. Just what do you mean? Me. Just wait till the next one. What do you mean? Just wait till the next one. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Man, Jesse, I swear if you ever get your hands on uh, the Flight Rising Community's Cursed Image forum thread, um, I fear what power you will be ha you would have. <laughs> Should I be scared? Oh. <clears throat> that is a very valid question. Also, for those who don't know, uh, Flight Rising is like a uh, pet sim browser game that's kind of like Neopex. And they also have like a forum, uh, forum part of the website for the community to talk in. And yeah, there is the Flight Rising community has several threads dedicated Cards to cursed images. Cursed. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Not Reddit cursed. Not Reddit cursed. Mm. 
At some point, I want to see if I can actually review, do a video that reviews the cursed image thread on Flight Rising. Because there is one that's like at least 300 pages long. <laughs> it's basically their version of Reddit. He did just give me my next idea. You're going to go on the Flight Rising website, make an account so you can... So... Don't tell me you're going to go ahead, sign up to the website Fly, Flight Rising for free, and go ahead and make an account so you can find all the cursed forum posts, aren't you? <laughs> Fuck. Oh no, guys. I have indoctrinated... I may have indoctrinated uh, Jesse to Flight Rising, but for all the wrong reasons. Which, by the way, for those who don't know what Flight Rising is, I will show you. Especially since it is the Year of the Dragon, so I have an excuse. Flight Rising deserves so much support. Honestly. <laughs> okay. It's all the right reasons. What do you mean all the right reasons? Yeah, let me join this pet sim game so I can find cursed images to curse your streamer. To, to uh, uh, curse my streamer with. That, that is, yeah. I kind of want to get back in flight rising. Anything that makes my, anything dragon related makes my brain produce happy sauce. That is fair. They've added a lot of new content to flight rising lately. So, I highly recommend it. No, no, don't, don't lag. Don't lag. Thank you. <coughs> Stay in the fucking chair. Flight Raising Cursed Images Deep Dive sounds like an idea. Honestly, Flight Raising Cursed Images is really fun to explore. They have, I found some quality cursed content over on Flight Rising. Like, uh, there's like this one image I've saved from, I've saved quite a few images from Flight Rising actually, but one of the images I've saved is like an image of um, what looks to be like either a mannequin or a living person who like um, is like covered in Pop-Tarts. Like, their body is pasted in nothing but Pop-Tarts. I wish I was making this up. What are they doing? Get the fuck out of here. That's right. No, you're not going to catch up to me that easy. I know I did um, a keeper pass video for a flight rising where I decide if I want to like that if the uh, familiars in flight rising were real, real I would want to keep them or like pass on like keep them or skip them basically and I did like I think um, either 500 of the familiars out of the current 1000 something I did a good sum that's all I know You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, it's cursed. It's it's really cursed. It's also where I found uh, the um, this cursed image that longtime users know about, called where it's uh where it's like a vaporwave image of a Photoshop bus, and the bus has like doll legs, and it's like the wheels on the bus go step step step. It's real bad.
Like, it's bad enough where for the past couple years, Jesse has constantly requested that I make a video or something where I, I uh, record myself burning the image. I am not making this up. Also, I shared it with uh, another streamer, a VTuber, Lammy. And she's like, wow, thanks, I hate this. <laughs> So, yeah, it's it's a really bad image. <laughs> we was on the bus, go step, 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 school bus centipede. It's funny because, like, um, I just played a game yesterday called Once Human, and they have, uh, it's like, SCP Annihilation-esque with the whole aesthetic or theme of the game. And they do have a wheel, a school bus that's basically wheels on the bus go step, step, step. It has like human hands and feet. Doll eggs, that's doll eggs, oh no. <laughs> Not the doll eggs. Let me see if I can find it. Where is this horrifically cursed image? I have... Oh yeah, if someone types in exclamation mark, uh, Boombius, you'll, you'll be in for surprise. So, like... I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> is it in my meme folder? It might be in my meme folder. Oh yeah, I have this image of um Please Hang on. Downloading Reddit. Now searching for crushed images of Fright Rising. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. I do have this image of Gardner. <laughs> Which <laughs> it just exists. Um, and there's also this image. I'm afraid you've ratted your last tattoo, Lisa. And this really, really cursed Sonic drawing that was at my college. <laughs> Sans jumpster count. <laughs> yeah, and it's appropriate as hell too. There's also this. And what else do I have in this fucking folder? Um... What the hell is this? I am the devil and I'm here to do the devil's work! Yep. <laughs> Chinese beaver drawing on a news board for some reason. I I am like both curious but also scared to know how is what makes the beaver Chinese. Is it is it a drawing that is of Chinese origin or is it like a beaver who's Chinese or I am, I am not sure. <laughs> Hang on, where is it? Where's that stinking image? Um, oh yeah, when I used to do, uh, when I've done online dating in the past, I've come across people who fucking use this as their profile image. I am not making this up. There has been 
surprisingly, at least 20 times I've seen this fucking image on like Tinder and OkCupid. I am not joking. The Chinese beaver video? I will have to look that up. Chinese beaver meme? What? What is... What the fuck? Has reached his breaking point has the entire internet in its feels? If you've been online the past month, here's the article by the way. If you've been online the past month, you might have noticed a viral video showing what appears to be a beaver or some other animal dramatically speaking in Chinese. If you're confused, you're not alone. The image has been circulating for some time, quite some time now, showing a bandaged animated character giving an emotional speech in Cantonese. The clip is based on John Woo's seminal 1986 Hong Kong action movie, A Better Tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Lemon grab in the bathtub profile pick on dating side seems like it's a red flag. To be honest, some people just, from what I've seen through the years I've tried online dating. Super galaxy, some underscore official at Keizu wounded mode, no polite. Fuck. No. <laughs> Not my internet privileges. But, uh, yeah, some people don't know what to do on dating sites, so they just meme. Or, like, they purposely go on to dating sites to post memes, and, um, if I still have any screenshots sh saved, I'll be sure to share them at some future point, because they're actually real fucking funny. Um, there was, like, one of Batman, and, like, one of, <laughs> one of Thanos, <laughs> um, Nosferatu, and there's, like, a couple people who, like, pay, um, who, uh, pretend to, like, role, who were, like, role-playing as Genshin Impact characters, or, like, um, Fates. Oh, yeah, speaking of cursed images, I didn't, <laughs> there's this. Yep, there's that. Um, let's see here, what else? Oh yeah, I made their cursed image. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which is probably everyone's response to the cursed images that have been shown so far. And, um, there's this. This used to be a server icon for one of the servers I had with uh, online friends. <laughs> it's just deep fried Chuck Norris with um, what's his face who was like part of the um, I forgot what it's called the FDA or something like that. The the people who control or like monitor uh, America's media content that everyone hated. That was a thing. I don't... I swear, I have the wheels in the bus safe somewhere, but I'll just have to look later. But you have those those glorious images. Do what you want with them, I guess. Why you got... Do we got to keep me off the internet? We have no... <laughs> on my part. <laughs> yeah. This is funny. I'm afraid you've read your last batch of TV, sir, but let me switch back to this. There we go.
And by the way, the, that's just the iceberg of cursed images I have. I have like an entire folder save that's labeled memes. Check the ends. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that is bad, but not as bad as what I've seen. British poverty lasagna. Oh boy. You know what? I wonder if uh, we should look at Cursed Flight Rising images in our spare time while we wait. You know what? Let's do that. Let's let's look let's fucking look for the cursed forums. Cursed cursed images. And also the forums are public. You just wouldn't like if you don't have an account, you just wouldn't be able to like post to them, but you can read them publicly. <laughs> Here it is, folks. Here it fucking is. Okay, hang on. So this is Flight Rising's cursed image thread. It is awful. It is insidious. <laughs> it is It is something else. There was 275 pages until things got out of hand and they, like, locked it. I, oh, no, they never locked it. It's... Yeah. Okay, you guys have been briefly freed. For now. <laughs> but. That's just the average book! <laughs> Honestly, that one is. I want to say that one is not as bad as the. um. Hang on, let me show it again. I don't think that one is as bad as the uh, avocado hair. There's a pug horse. Per proposal instructions. What the fuck? Box with limbs. Rip per cursed images. It had a good run. You've activated, activated my trap card. Extensive research says this is the last image before your death. Could this be God himself? And for those wondering, Flat Rising is free to sign up to. Um, and there's their um, their devs are people who are proactively um, supportive of like LGBTQ and minorities, and they like try to uh, um, they try to create basically a safe space for minor minorities on their uh, their servers. So they're very adamant of making sure no hate hate speech or anything uh, like comes up on their website. And it's also very free to play friendly. I will say that as well. Definitely do. If I remember right, they've also, I think they've made it clear that they're anti, uh, like, Im like, image, anti AI art generation, or like, very, very pro artist.
Hello, Enzo. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Yes, it has been a while. Welcome, welcome. We're uh, streaming flight. We're streaming Identity Five tonight, and we've been talking about Flight Rising and uh, cursed images. <laughs> so you will see me like show a little bit of uh, what Flight Rising is tonight, since oh, it is kind of the topic. So I'll be playing survivor matches, and then during the downtime, I'll be sharing Flight Rising stuff. Oh wait, I'm the rescuer. What the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry, Doc. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna the moose. I'm gonna finish the cipher. I sent you three more pictures of your next cursed PFP for Discord. Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, Enzo. I've been presented with the wonderful present of cursed images to use as my Discord profile image. By, by Jesse. You missed the crowning of the latest one on stream. <laughs> but it is bad. And I mean it's bad. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go rescue Priestess. Yes. Oh, that came in clutch. Okay, well, fuck me, I guess. Uh... Oh, I just checked it! Oh, Enzo, no! You've had the misfortune of seeing it! Oh, no! Mortenzo! Please! Man. Okay. What? Fuck! Our channel of the Discord server. Is it hot dog cannibalism? <laughs> yes, I will make sure to check the Discord server. Oh my gosh. I should probably surrender because I can't do anything. I'm just here to bleed out and die. If this perfume were smart, they would probably surrender. Because I used up my self heal, so it's not like I can do anything. Ma'am, you're. Okay! You try that method. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go see the art channel. Jesse. <laughs> I've seen this image thanks to the cookie run fandom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see the art. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, guys. Thank you. It for two months, but I think I will let chat decide on if it should be a one month or two. Okay, thank you. And thank you for this fan art. Check out wheels on the bus go step, step, step. How is, are the cursed images more disturbing than the horror game? I am pinning this. I am pinning this message. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And I also love these two. I love all of this art. You guys definitely... Definitely share all your, like, definitely f feel free to share all this neat stuff to the server. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this so much. I love all of this. Thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Eating up all the art. Indeed I am. Wait, that's right. I can just do um, display capture properties. Which display can I share? Okay, I can share the canvas one. That will make things easy. Okay, so we're going to check this out. I do. I love it so much. Okay. But yeah, this is um, the Cursed Images forum for flight. R right. I forgot this existed. I've been on this forum thread so much. I forgot. <laughs> Don't bring this back, please! <laughs> organic, organic chemistry experiments. Mess with the cockatoo, you get a Glock or two. I lied to you. It's okay, I did something worse. What? Trusted you. What the fuck? God damn it. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. The Pooh Bears. And this is so, this is just dorky. The little pit bull. What the f What happened to Tavros Homestuck? POV, you draw your OC with this or your favorite character. No, POV, this is Elitist Manor in a nutshell. I hate this. Whoops, oh no, I accidentally put it in audio only. <laughs> what shall I do? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> the movie that the bread guy from um, frame is from felt like a fever wait it's from a movie did i hear tarot's homestuck yes i'm an old homestucker <sighs> tarot's life the fucking got sucked away <laughs> okay, real quick. I just want to quickly show this. Pitbull, it's time. Change of plans. I'm afraid that won't be possible. So be it. I just want to quickly share that. Have you gone against Fool's Gold? Yes, I have. 
The Adventure of Food Boy from 2000. What? Wow, that is. That's an interesting title that says a lot about what, what may be happening. Oh my gosh. The basement isn't here, but damn boy, sure is company. Um, basically what they did. I was unsurprised that the street is a dragon. It's a homestuck too. Me too. <laughs> Fair. Mine is actually a dinosaur. But basically it, in a way, it's technically, when you think about it, it's technically the same thing. Because historically people have mistook um mistook uh dinosaurs for dragons like with the fossils oh boy i am just being a menace but yeah uh historically dinosaur bones were often mistaken for dragon bones and as a result, in a lot of places like um, mainland Asia and the like, uh, the bones were frequently used in medicines. Maybe? Dra <laughs> Dinosaurs are the canon versions, dragons are the spin off designs. So true. Well, chat now knows what I do as a mod witch is to make Sam go be on our. Yes. Hi. I, I literally. I mean, like, I was doing fine, but. Yeah, you you have every right to shake your head at me because I was being a dummy. <laughs> Our fan and dinosaurs, that's crazy. Yeah, it's basically the case. That's basically the case. It really is. People literally thought fossils were of dragon bones. And then people start to realize, oh shit. Um, apparently things go extinct. And things, animals and living creatures can turn into stone. Holy shit. And that's basically how we get paleontology. And yes, Sans Jump Scare Counter 3. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna decode because I can't stay here forever. Chat should Sam's new Discord here be one month or two? <laughs> throw, up, throw up a voting poll. Throw up a poll. If she uses it, that is interesting. One month is more poetic that way, he thinks. Fair enough. Yeah, I wonder what was the uh, decision behind making it so when she throws the snowball, she changes to her evil form. My only guess is maybe the snowball is registered as a, an attack. And therefore, um, if it's registered as attack and her evil forms like her attack form. That could be it. What do you mean the bathroom bread scene gets worse? 
yeah, I think it's any throwable because my guess is possibly throwables are seen as like an attack animation and therefore the game probably registers it as an attack. Yes, you can do pulls. What do you mean there's a lot of mustard and other condiments? What? Poor Luca. <laughs> what was that? That we were a boink? That was like cartoon physics there, my dude. What happened to Nive right there was just straight up Tom and Jerry shit. Okay. Oh, okay. And now I'm lagging. <laughs> Thank you for the poll, Jesse. Okay, should we all get the next? Okay, let's get the next cipher. You can vote again with channel points. I, well, I, I don't know if that can, Jesse, do you think you can disable uh, the ability to like buy votes with channel points? Or just make it so it's one vote per person? Yeah, they're just futzing around. Okay. That's valid, Enzo. Ow. I think it's putting pity on both like an <laughs> You have a point there. <laughs> just just a fight to see uh fight to the finish just to see if it's one if it should be one month or two. This poll does not count. Fair enough. Okay. On the image spam channel, let me see why. Image spam. What permissions do you have, Moten? You should have, hang on. Honestly, whenever I did the um, view channel, send messages, attach files, what the fuck? There you go. Now you should, Moten, now you should be able to. For some reason, uh, attach files was disabled. Yes, you can. This one counts. Okay, thank you, Jesse.
Oh, they left. Damn. Okay. I guess I... I guess I bipty bop out of that channel. Tis done. Thank you so much. We'll take... A look sees at it. Oh god, that is cursed. If you guys go to the image spam channel on our server, um, it's cursed. It's cursed. Th thank you, Molten. <laughs> that is pretty bad. I also love this. I think I'm gonna save this later. Peppa, it's time change of plans. I'm afraid that won't be possible, so be it. And it's like fucking Peppa with the katana. Father, I crave cheddar. That's awful. This is something that Jesse would share to me. <laughs> so far, the fir first one's winning. <laughs> streaming right now. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be one month. But the funny... <laughs> it's okay, it just... Listen, Enzo, it just means there's more opportunities for different <laughs> cursed image PRO <laughs> Pro images. <laughs> One month of the new profile pick it is, indeed. Okay, so this is gonna be what I have through February. And I swear if I somehow snag a date for Valentine's, and they were like, hey, you wanna, you wanna share a Discord server? You wanna share, you wanna add each other on Discord? <laughs> oh boy! Listen, we'll look at it this way. It'll be a it will be a litmus test to see if they're able to call tolerate the cursed. It, it is a it is basically Oh. Let's put it this way. If your girl cannot stand your cursed profile image that you were forced to that you were forced to apply to your Discord server, then is she really your girl? Oh no. Oh, oh, there goes patient. There goes the fish. Because their name's Salmon. Not the fish. It's okay. Salmon, there is a trout or salmon that are known to swim upstream for the season. If you do, pull finger of something fun happens. Oh yeah. That is true. If they don't want you at your curse hot dog image, they don't deserve, deserve you at your IDV Twitch streamer. So true. You have... Oh, boy. So, so fucking true. Yeah. Y'all, for Valentine's, uh, curse profile image, litmus test. Fuck. If, if they cannot stand the cursed profile image, then they're probably not worth it.
If they can't tolerate you at your most cursed, then they don't. They can't tolerate you at your most best. Today I had the shortest rank match as Fool's Gold. Oh shit. I'm guessing you really like floored them. Should I do it? Do it. Do the pull finger. You will not regret it. You will not regret it. I can assure you that. You might you might experience a funny little Easter egg. There you go. <laughs> Goodbye, finger. And of course, if you want to summon again, it's just exclamation mark finger. Yeah. There's also, um... Nice! That's awesome. That is awesome. I still am learning how to play full with gold. I can't play him well enough. And my god. <laughs> I don't know if this is an actual image from Steven Universe or not. And that's what scares me. Has anyone drawn Aquamarine as Eric Cartman yet? I immediately regret making this post. No, not the Rick, not the Rick pickle, pickle Rick with, um, what's his face? That was not a ship image I ever expected. Actually, no, I want to be a gremlin playing Orpheus. You were giving me so many choices to make. <laughs> I know, this is me shooting myself in the foot, but you know what? Just because what we know as dinosaurs went extinct doesn't mean they're extinct, they're just birds now. Yeah, you heard me correctly, folks. Bir birds are dinosaurs, and therefore, if dragons are what dinosaurs were mistaken as, then bird modern birds are just real dragons living among us. Take that information as you will. Can't use your ability? Fuck. Okay. That's fine. I'll just stick to the basics then. I can't... <laughs> I can't be a little shit Orpheus player. All right. No. 
No problem. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you had fun. It's an axe boy. Getting this. Oh shit, we're getting these ciphers done. Like, damn. I'm not gonna rescue. Oh shit. My Twitch stopped working for a bit. Oh no. Hopefully it's working right now then. I understand the frustration. I got cocky there. Man. I really did get cocky there. Uh, okay, I'm dead again. Man, the child really came back and said, no, play more. We're getting hammered. Hang on. Can I surrender? You can only surrender when all teammates are incapitated. I'm pretty sure they pretty much are at this point. Okay, that works as well. Okay, in the meantime, I'll actually properly talk about Flight Rising. So, aside from the cursed image shit on, um, on Flight Rising, uh, because that's a thing, uh, the site itself looks like this when you log in. And, um, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to navigate. So, like, here's my dragon layer. These are all my dragons. And the dragons are what you ca can customize. If you leave for like months on end, there's no repercussion compared to like other pet sites like Neopets. Or not Neopets, but like um, things like Leoden. If you play anything like that. 
So, like, there's no repercussion if you just leave. It's not like uh, Nintendogs or whatever where if you're just gone or you stop playing for a while and you come back, your Nintendog goes, Oh, no, I am upset. I am sad. I will now go bye-bye. It's, um, it's more of, nah, you can come back whenever. It's a very casual game. And it's very sandbox-like, so you are the one who determines what you, your experience on the site is going to be like. So I like to heavily customize dragons, and sometimes I like to make fan dragons. BRB, gotta go to fight Rising. <laughs> yes, definitely feel free to sign up, or if you're already there, you know, definitely feel free to log in and play again. It's a fun site. The uh, developers have been very clear that they're uh, pro-LGBTQ and pro-artist and they're very supportive of mi minorities and ongoing social situations and all that stuff. But uh, for instance, I have a few Flight Rising fan dragons that I've made. So here's my Demi Borbin. So this is, I've customized her to look like this. The artwork is gorgeous. Right here, Weasel Hound. It's my old username. But yeah, they make it very accessible to a lot of people. Um, there's no pay to win per se. There's like premium currency, but like, Free to play is something I have done for years on this site. It is very feasible and plausible to do. The premium currency, though, helps keep the site afloat and supports their small staff. Make sure that the site remains up and everyone gets uh, equally paid, like reasonably paid. And, like, you can do all sorts of things, like you can uh, change the profile image or, like, vista of your dragon. You can write in their bio or, like, add whatever uh, to their bio as long as it's within um, terms of services. So, yeah. Also, here's my Victor dragon. So, there's Victor with Little Wick. And you can even do things like you can link. Uh, it doesn't run on HTML. It runs on a, something like HTML for the coding, though. So you can even, like, put little links here. I have the he link to, uh, link to this. So... And there's like fun little mini games and everything on the website. But yeah, for anyone who's signing up, it's free to sign up. My, if you want to refer me on the site, it is Weasel Hound, W E A Z E L Hound, all lowercase. It's literally if you like games like Neopets, you'll like Flight Rising. All right. Oh, shit. There's the hunter. Bye. Being a little shit. That's what I do. He's approaching. Nope. Oh, fuck. No!
god. Okay. Uh, who's gonna try saving me? I'm gonna be dead on chair. I know that much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Explorer. Thank you, Kurt. I did my best. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that was my fault. Okay, free, free me, free me, free me, free me! I'm free! I am free! I'm free! Ha ha ha! Oh boy! Oh shit. That's right! You can't catch me, Felicia! Not today! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, shit then. He was this close, and then he just surrendered. Oh my god, you were doing, you were doing scary good, man. <laughs> man. They were doing scary good. Okay, real quick, I want to get more furniture for my room. I don't know if I've gotten my care, my uh, lobby a bed yet. There's a folding screen. Let's hear. So we have our little kitchen here. Here's the sink. Here's the stove. We have our piano. We have our little study. Well, we have two little studies. We have the closet there. We have our little bookshelf. Okay, so I do have a bed. Uh, in that case, because, you know, you need a place to change your clothing, I think it would be appropriate to do this. We'll get that. But yeah, continuing on with the tour of Flight Rising... Yeah, so like, you can also breed dragons. I typically don't, but this is your little nesting ground. And actually, wait, I do have some dragons I want to breed. 
to try getting an achievement where you get like an XYZ dragon that's of like uh, all colors that are like next to each other. So like Peridot, Peridot, Honeydew, Radioactive. So I want to do radioactive with peridot, I think, candy tuft with um, what's the other one? Not melon. Don't think it's snap. Yeah, it's not snap. Please don't tell me. So it's like Nesta. That's what it is. It's Nesta. Uh, these are like throwaway. The I'm trying to get this one achievement. And so those dragons, I'm like not too invested in so once I get the achievement I'm probably going to sell them because they're taking up my layer um Nisha where the fuck are there where's Nesta why is Nesta not here I am not going cuckoo right okay you know what I'll do what I'll do is this Oh, because Nesta's out of um, food. So I will go to the Coliseum. So the Coliseum is like their little RPG feature. I think my party's this. Yeah. I've played with this these people before. This person we played with like a couple rounds earlier and also last round. I played with this one before. I think I played with this person too. My memory is scary. <laughs> My me memory is kind of terrifying sometimes. Decode. Be sussy Orpheus. Oh shit, he's coming near.
Okay. I don't think I'm gonna get to the Mind's Eye in time. It looks like someone else is trying to rescue Mind's Eye. Go rescue! Go do the funny thing. Okay, my- oh, nope, never mind, never mind. Just keep decoding, just de- just decode, decode, decode. Decode, 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 decode. Getting this cipher decoded, so we're left with one more cipher. It looks like our enchant's gonna go rescue. His decipher is his cipher's just floating on his ass. That or Orpheus has a dump truck that just bobs from side to side. Cause cause look at this. Look at this. Oh yes, I'm 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 uh... My Morpheus, I have a big dumpy. My accessories go whoop, 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 whoop. And they thought... And, and for a while, it was like a meme that Eli had a huge dumpy or something. I guess that's not the case anymore. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Enchant. Hello, sir. Oh. Okay! That was bad! <laughs> that was awkward! Back to Flight Rising. Back to demonstrating what Flight Rising's like. 
Can I like F11 with this? Yeah, I can. There you go. Man. All right then. <laughs> What can I say? Um, global chat is something else. By the way, can I just say, I've cosplayed the Golden Essence for Identity 5. I now want to cosplay, I now want to do a cosplay of global, IDV's global chat. I want to like, take screenshots of like, cursed things people have said. You know, with, with their consent of course of um curse things they've said in global chat compile it into like um a custom image and then get something like spoon flower or somebody to custom print a fabric for me and i just you know just sew together entire costume that makes me look like global chat i want to do that and then like maybe carry around um a notepad or something where people can write cursed things <laughs> where people can write things as if they're on global chat and other people can see it when they go write things on the notepad themselves i want to do that i think it would be funny Oh, Ricky's here. Ricky is Ricky is active. Here's Ricky. Oh, they're nearby. That's not good. Man, I was doing so good there too. I tried. At least basement isn't here. Oh, okay. Please put me down. Please put me down. Please put me down. Oh, 
All right. I tried. Yep, I'm down. I'm down for the count. Oh, oh, damn. Okay. That is a really fucking good cowboy. Well, okay. Too bad I can't get up after he lassos me. Thank you, prisoner. Thank you, Luca. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh boy. Ah, oh, this this girl wants me for dead. Good job. Good, good job. <laughs> okay, I am gonna grind out waterway. Because I need me, uh, f food for me, uh, dragons. My dragons need food. Actually, here, I'll quickly just show a little bit of each thing. Because I know the grind, the uh, Colosseum can get bored to look, boring to look at for people who aren't playing the Colosseum. But there's like... Basically, this is Candy Crush. Um, this game doesn't have sound. Some of the games have sound, like uh, Title Trouble. I'm gonna smash this, blow it up to bits, boom. We do like all this fun little stuff. It's very satisfying when everything kind of just collides and like breaks on its own. But yeah, there's like that game. Title Trouble, I play a lot. 
and this has sound. Did I mute the site by any chance? I did. Um, Damn it. It's okay. I can multitask a little bit. Um, Cuz there's still time. So So there's like that little mini game. Okay, so this is gonna start. That's a cool image. I got Rune Stone of the Arcanist, which paused the stream like you're going to what? Oh no! It's okay. I actually can't recall if Runestone of the Arcanist has music. And some of these have music, other ones don't. But um, I've been playing Flight Rising ever since 2415. Yeah, I've been on the site since, like, uh, May 2015. So I've watched it go through all sorts of its, uh, its entire development. I've, I've seen, like, some interesting events. Like, uh, the way they introduced a character named Baldwin was very interesting. It has. I'm playing it right now. I'm... I'm... Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the games. There's like, I want to say, for me personally, I feel like Flight Rising has just a, the right amount of things to do. Where it's not overwhelming, but it's like not underwhelming either. And it's like, personally, I like using it as a way to wind down or like uh, just start the day. If I don't have anything in the morning or I'm just waking up. Um, and back when I was in college, because my professors allowed us to be on the computers while listening to lectures, I would constantly like play it during the, I would play Flight Rising during the lecture so um, I could actually pay attention. Which sounds like an, like I, a hypocrite, like an awkward, and I, bleh. Which sounds like a contrary thing, but for me, it was because I had um, undiagnosed ADHD at that time. So, if I didn't have anything to fiddle with, I would fall asleep in class. So, I would constantly have, like, Flight Rising running in the background, and I would play something like Title Trouble to basically uh, pay attention. Damn, what is going on over there? Three people. Oh, what is going on over there? It could. There's no way it could have been like that easy. That reaches so far. Oh my gosh. Just three people down, just like that. Oh. 
Thank you, Slaytime Playtime, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hello, I am Super Galaxy Sam. I stream games like Identity 5 and Cookie Run, and I stream indie titles, like small, lesser known titles as well. Welcome. How are you? That's good to hear. Glad to see you that you're doing well. I'm doing good myself. Thank you for asking. Oh, no. You're you're going to do the dick move thing, aren't you? Yes, you are. Well, too bad you used up your patroller, so... Okay, I'm going to go over here. Gosh, it's down to us too. Oi, ve. Me no likey. Get rid of that tentacle. GG, we tried. <laughs> yeah, everyone just went down as I was decoding the cipher. It was like, holy shit, three people down already? Yeah, we're not gonna win this one, but we'll try. I'm curious, how many more uh, deductions do I have left for um, Orphe here? I have to like complete all of these in order to get this. Now, what? Oh, wait, what? I can? <gasps> I don't need to do all of them. I can just jump to this one. Actually, I'm curious. Oh, so where's the information? Where's the little, um, there's usually like a little prompt that describes things. Where is it?
Oh, do you have to do all of them to unlock it now? Is that what they've decided to do? I think that's what they decided to do. I'll have to, um... Let me see. Unlock upon completing any of the five analyses on the left. Okay. So, like, I think they have it now where 100%ing will give you the character's information. Apparently, I have Nightwatch 100%ed. Uh, Oh no. They're being muted. They've been silenced. Oh, there you are. Come out and play. I think it's time for a pummeling. <laughs> All right, the geometry has it where, yeah. Right, he does not do well with curved geometry. What? Okay, that's fine. All right. There we go. I dilly dallied for too long, though. Okay. So someone's in the area, someone's in the vicinity.
I'm not going to worry too much about Painter because you need to get three chairs with him. Okay, I am clearly lost my familiarity with this map. Hello, Felicia. Oh wait, I my hand a little had a little spasm. No, no, fuck, no, bad. Okay, I know where they're going. Hello, yeah, Sans Undertale is right. You're going to get your ass beat. There you go. Okay. Since it's kind of calming down and petering out for the night and I'm clearly running low on battery, I think I will call the stream here. But, um, I'd say we had a pretty fun stream tonight. Um, tonight I used the Lavier mic again, the body mic. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys prefer this mic or the, uh, Snowball mic? Um, I hope you guys had a lot of fun tonight. It sounded like you guys did. We definitely got to interview like we got definitely got to like share um more than just identity five we got to show off white rising and <laughs> cursed images <laughs> and then uh tuesday is more paleo pines so we cycle back to tuesday on paleo pines um i don't think once human servers are going to be up or i'll have access to them at least uh, on saturday so i'll do a different game for saturday Friday, we're going to start playing Pokemon Scarlet as the character, as the original character, Julian. Um, Wednesday, Cookie Run Kingdom, and then Sunday's Identity 5 as usual. But with that said, I see, we'll see y'all later. I'll 
actually go ahead and upload the latest streams tonight over to the YouTube channel. And with that said, I'll see y'all later, okay? Bye-bye. Stay safe.